afternoon, I'm Lynn Butler and this is Black Country News at one o'clock. Here are today's headlines. Hundreds gather in Wolverhampton city centre to mark Holocaust Memorial Day. The number of rough sleepers in Wolverhampton has more than halved. The city is gearing up for its third annual literature festival. And weather warnings remain in place across the region as temperatures continue to fall. Wolverhampton came together to remember victims of Nazi persecution in St Peter's Square earlier today. Hundreds gathered despite freezing temperatures to hear community and religious groups pay tribute to the millions who lost their lives in Nazi death camps during the Second World War. As well as marking the events of over 70 years ago, the Memorial Day is also a timely reminder that genocide and persecution is still ongoing. Obeda Ahmed is a counsellor in the St Peter's Ward of the city. There's problems like this happening all over the world, unfortunately, and we're seeing people are being displaced and then moving around, and we are doing our share in Wolverhampton. We have a lot of people from all over the world, particularly in St Peter's. We have a lot of displaced people, and, and together with the council, we are trying to do the best, and we are a very welcoming city. We're very diverse, and we're proud of that. Rough sleeping in Wolverhampton is down, booking a national trend, a new city council report has revealed. An initiative which sees charities, housing groups and the council share information and give targeted support to individual rough sleepers has seen the figures halve from around 30 to 15. Council leader Roger Lawrence said despite the fall in rough sleepers, there was still much work to be done. The work that we've done through our task group has, I believe, been at the cutting edge of attacks on her homelessness problem. But nevertheless, there is no room for complacency. There is much more that we need to do to challenge not just the needs of homeless people, but to also tackle the fundamental social problems which lead to people being homeless. Organisers of the third annual Wolverhampton Literature Festival are hoping to top the success of last year's event. The citywide festival runs from Friday, February the 1st until Sunday, February the 3rd. Phil Turner from Wolverhampton Civic Halls is the programmer for this year's events. The festival, particularly the headline side of it, it's programmed by myself, who's a, who's more of a sort of music and comedy booker. So that's why we've got um, things like Stuart Lee on the bill and Richard Herring and John Cooper Clark. But also there's lots of free stuff and um, there is literally something for, for, for everyone, really. And today's weather will see temperatures struggling to top freezing, with a yellow weather warning for ice in place between 6 this evening and 11 tomorrow morning. That's your one o'clock news. I'm Lynn Butler and I'll be back at 4pm with your Drive Time Roundup.